Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we're talking all about sleeve prints. From long sleeves to short sleeves, it's pretty common to see prints on our arms. Maybe not as common as the standard front, back, or left chest prints, but they're quite popular nonetheless, especially if you're looking to add some subtle, minimal branding on, say, the outside of your tees. Now, because we didn't talk about sleeves too much in our perfect print placement video, we'll link it right here if you haven't seen it yet, we figured there is no better time than right now to dive in for some common sizing, placement, and even how you could print them with the equipment you have in your shop. You ready? Let's get right to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now, the first step in planning your sleeve prints is to size your design accordingly. Now, for short sleeves, it depends on what you're going to be going for. Small minimal branding is typically in the one to two inch range, just like this logo that we're going to print here in just a little bit. However, if you wanna go bigger, we recommend staying within three inches or maybe four and a half inches as an absolute max, depending on the dimensions of your logo. You can see here on our sizing shirt uh, that this four and a half inch print is actually quite large. Now for long sleeves, you got a lot more real estate for printing. So typically you're gonna max your print area out at three to four inches by 17 and a half inches. Of course, you could go as large as your heat press platen, but on some garments, you might have trouble with wrinkling as you have it laid flat, or you're gonna run into some seams. So right around that 17 and a half inch length makes it a lot easier to decorate. The vast majority of sleeve prints are even smaller, around two to two and a half inches by 14 inches or so, just like these here. Now it all depends on the look that you are going for with your specific project. With sizing covered, let's turn to placement. It's always the best to find a point of reference on the garment that you could anchor your print to. For short sleeves, we'll go from the cuff seam right here. Now I typically recommend about an inch up from the seam to the bottom of the graphic, and that's a great starting point. But depending on your graphic dimensions, you may need to modify that placement slightly. Just be sure to have enough room for your graphic to keep these seams off the printing area. It's just gonna make it a lot easier with the pressure on your heat press. For long sleeves, we'll still typically anchor our prints from the wrist cuff, so right down here, so the print is on the forearm and up. But if you're looking to achieve a trendy floating logo on a long sleeve or that higher bicep placement up here, we're gonna switch to the shoulder or sleeve seam here at the top. Now the placement varies based on the look that you're going for, but you'll commonly be two to three inches from the cuff seam down here and three to four inches away from the shoulder seam if you're trying to go for that bicep print right there. Now, just like I mentioned in the placement video and sizing t-shirt art video, holding a ruler up to yourself or friends, family member or mannequins, coworkers could help you get spot on placement. And you can even use a piece of paper folded to the dimensions of your artwork to get a great idea of how it's going to look. Now with the basics covered, let's get to printing. With sleeves, there's a few different methods we could use to print them, either with our full size heat press, like this one here, maybe some specialty platens on it, or even printing sleeve prints with a cap press, like the 360i key that I've got right here. But we're gonna start with all of the ways to print short sleeves first. Now back here at our trusty Hotronic 16 by 20 auto open clamshell press, we could toss our shirt on the full size lower platen and try to get it as flat as possible for our print location. Now there's just one problem. The vast majority of short sleeves, there's a seam that runs on the underside of the arm. So that's definitely going to affect our print quality. Now we could remedy this with a mouse pad, cut down to size. We could fit it inside the sleeve to raise the printing area. Now this is a great economical option in a pinch or if you need just a few shirts, but it's not really efficient with the amount of time it takes to arrange the shirt and the mouse pad in it for those larger runs. Now my favorite way to print short sleeves is with the Tagalong HP Platen. If you're familiar with our channel here, you'll know how much I love this thing. Now, not only is it awesome for printing the front of the shirt and the inside tag at the same time, which saves you so much time and allows you to easily brand your t-shirts as a value add to your customers or a spot for you to put your own branding, 
but it also helps you align your shirt on the platen perfectly every time with the patented neck and shoulder shape here, saving you time when you are printing those larger runs. If you thought that was cool, well, what if I told you that it works great to print sleeves too? Here, just using the folder crease that's centered on the sleeve out of the box, you could align the short sleeve by just reaching underneath and using the tag portion of the platen right here to loop our sleeve onto. This is just so quick and easy, and one of the many reasons that this multi-purpose platen is a must for anyone with a Hotronics press. Now, once set here, we don't have to adjust our pressure or press setup at all, and with these goof-proof screen printed transfers, they're gonna print in just four seconds. So bam, we're already done and have a great, perfectly placed and printed sleeve print. Now, the only downside here is if you're doing larger sleeve prints, as this is going to limit the print area right here to three and a half by three and a half inches. Now, if we're talking about interchangeable platens, of course, we have to mention the leg and sleeve platen. Offering a five and a quarter inch by 20 inch print area, it makes printing sleeves super easy. However, because of the base of the auto clam that we have right here, it doesn't allow for full sleeve loading with those long sleeve shirts. And you can see when I lock this thing in here that we're gonna get caught right here by this base. You're gonna need a Hotronics Fusion style press or the double leg and sleeve platen to work here on this auto clamp. But for our short sleeves, we can actually make this work completely fine. Now we're gonna talk more about this platen in a little bit when we do cover those long sleeves. But as you could see right here, using the neck, we could actually get the sleeve on here pretty good to print that short sleeve print. Now, another way that you could print sleeves almost as easily is right here with a cap press. Just fire up this heat press. Here we have the 360 IQ, but any hat press pretty much will do. Just be sure to match the type of application instructions to the transfer type that you are printing. All we have to do is open up the sleeve, place it on the outside layer of fabric over this lower platen and press. And we're gonna avoid that seam on the inside of that sleeve. Hey, look at that, nice and easy. Now with short sleeves printed, it's time to cover long sleeves. One of the easiest ways to print on the sleeves here is using our regular platen and cheating just a little bit. Now we're gonna use the folding seams to place our full sleeve down here on the press. Because we have so much fabric hanging off the platen, we could actually remove the quick slip pad protector to help grip our sleeve here just a little bit better. Now, instead of printing directly on the outside of the sleeve, we could actually print right up next to the outside edge on the front. Now, we're just gonna align this a few inches up from the cuff seam, and we're gonna be set in our placement right here. Now, all we have to do is press. Be sure you're pre-pressing before you put any ink on these garments. Now, as you can see, it actually looks pretty great not too far on the front, and even a little bit more visible than when directly on the side. Now for when you wanna print exactly centered on the outside of the sleeve, or those floating logo prints up on the bicep, you're going to need the leg and sleeve platen. That's this one that we talked about earlier. And like I mentioned earlier, it's not fully threadable because of the wide base here on the bottom of the auto clamp. But if you have a Fusion IQ, Air Fusion, or Dual Air Fusion press, the gooseneck design for the quick change platen makes it easy to thread the entire sleeve on this platen. Aligning the center line with that crease that's right on the garment already out of the box. Now I didn't mention it earlier, but it's wise to spot check and be sure the crease or fold line is actually centered with the shoulder seam. I always go up here. Sometimes it could vary, and then it's throwing your print placement completely off, something we don't wanna do. Now that's it, all of the ways that you could print sleeves, both short and long, with your heat press. I hope you're more confident than ever with your apparel decorating capabilities to elevate your own brand or offer some additional print locations to add value for your customers. Now of course, if you have a method to printing sleeves that you think we missed, or tips of your own, let us know down in the comments section below. We always love to hear from the heat printing community. Be sure to subscribe here to the Transfer Express YouTube channel. Stay up to date on all of the helpful educational, instructional, and inspirational videos that we're posting here every single week. Until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.